The Mama Take Heart podcast with Rabrina Rettel is brought to you by Life Audio and is a part of our Faith Toolkit series. For more inspirational, faith-affirming podcasts, visit lifeaudio.com. Welcome to Mama Take Heart, understanding your Gen Z girl. I'm your host, Rabrina Rettel, here to help you be the compassionate, gospel-centered, and influential voice in your girl's life. Gen Z wants to be famous, but do they really? Songs about fame and fortune have been around for a long time. Some of you may remember the song Fame by David Bowie in the 70s, or Irene Cara's song Fame that was written for the movie of the same title, I Wanna Be Rich by Calloway in the late 80s, and Celebrity by Brad Paisley and the song Applause by Lady Gaga in the 2010s. I've heard many songs that talk about the ups and downs of fame, but that doesn't seem to deter us as human beings. We want to be known. So why are influencers on the guest list to attend the Met Gala? 20-year-old social media star turned singer Addison Rae who has 82.5 million followers on TikTok and 38.6 million on Instagram, is going to attend the Met Gala, or at least she received an invitation. And YouTube blogger Emma Chamberlain, who decided not to complete high school, is also 20 and has 10.5 million subscribers. And guess what? She's also attending or was invited to the Met Gala. Anyone who follows celebrity culture knows the Met Gala is the event of the season. It's a fundraiser that began in 1948, held at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The guest list consists of the who's who of music, film, Broadway theater, and fashion. On an earlier episode, I kind of talked about Gen Z and their values. It's uh, uh, the title is a few fast facts about Gen Z. I talked about their values and that they're digital natives and that they're sophisticated about technology. And this allows them to create, connect and consume the way they like. It's also a driving force in how they communicate with one another, find community and how they view themselves and the world around them. Today we're going to look into what it means to be an influencer and why businesses and society are encouraging the phenomenon. Well, Gen Z is influenced by influencers. According to Ypulse, a marketing firm 60% of 13 to 18 year olds say they follow influencers on social media. Most tweens and teens would try a brand or product recommended by a YouTube content creator or Instagram, TikTok influencer over a movie or TV celebrity. Gen Z prefers snackable content and they watch more bite-sized videos on social media than on traditional television. This is part of the influence of influencers. Businesses are heavily marketing directly to Gen Z. If you ever watched Gilmore Girls, you know the chorus of the theme song that says, where you lead, I will follow. Well, that's what businesses are banking on in the world of Gen Z influencers. As a matter of fact, marketing and research firms like Ypulse exist to market to millennials and Gen Z. On their website, Ypulse states, it's the leader in youth research and insights and the leading expert on Gen Z and millennials. They encourage website viewers to set up a demo to learn more about why brands like YouTube Spotify, and Instagram turn to Ypulse to understand young consumers. Let's take a minute to define what makes an influencer. 
The Macmillan Dictionary defines the word influence as to affect the way that someone thinks or behaves or to affect the way that something happens. An influencer is also known as an online celebrity. And this person is someone who has built a sizable following and is considered a top trendsetter in a particular niche. That's whether it's fashion, lifestyle, gaming, travel, or healthy living. They can wield this influence on any social media platform, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or etc. Gen Z's drawn to influencers who are authentic and approachable. So businesses are looking for those influencers who grab Gen Z's attention. 51% of Gen Z say they would buy something recommended by their favorite online celebrity. And they're not just looking at what an influencer sells, they're also looking for aspects of overall influence. Gen Z views the influencer as someone they can relate to who's not afraid to show their vulnerable side. 55% would rather spend the afternoon with their favorite influencer than a Hollywood celebrity. That being said, 74% are interested in seeing online celebrities in more traditional content like TV series and movies. They don't just like online celebrities, though many aspire to be one. With 72% of Gen Z saying they would like to be an online celebrity, and believe it or not, this trend isn't new. An article in Forbes magazine states that collaborations with those of influence dates back to 1760, when Wedgwood first made a tea set for the wife of King George III. The tea sets are still considered, quote, fit for royalty, unquote, to this day. At first glance, it looks like society is encouraging the idea of being famous just for being famous. When influencers like Addison Rae and Emma Chamberlain are invited to long-held celebrity status events, and Dunkin' Donuts names a cold brew after 17-year-old TikTok dancer Charlie D'Amelio, it makes one question, what else are influencers doing? While well, many influencers become entrepreneurs, a value that is held in high esteem by Gen Z. Influencers have their own cosmetic, shoe, and fashion lines, monetized podcasts, books, and so on. And now Charlie D'Amalio has her own reality show. The statistics would lead us to believe that all Gen Z cares about is fame and fortune, but what most really care about is being known. They wanna be known and remembered for making a difference. If you recall, Gen Z values creativity and self-expression, which social media encourages. They also care about climate change, ethnic, racial, and gender diversity and inclusivity. They're politically minded and social justice warriors. Some influencers use their voice in these matters. Recently, there's been pushback about influencers receiving invitations to the Met Gala. And some believe that the invites make the event lose its exclusive status. Now that's a bit of a contradiction, but Gen Z views influencers as one of them. Well, when you think about it, we all want to be known. It's a desire God has placed in us. He desires to know us and gives us the desire to know him. 1 Corinthians 3, 8 tells us, but whoever loves God is known by God. Jeremiah 1, 5a, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. And John 10, 14, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. 
all verses from the New International Version. He, Jesus, is the only one who can truly fill that desire. Well, to get to know your Gen Z girl better, engage in conversation about who she follows on social media. Ask her about her favorite influencer or online celebrity. Find out what it is about the influencer that she admires. Ask her about the conversations that are happening on Twitter and Twitterverse. This is how a lot of Gen Z gets their news because they feel it's straight from the horse's mouth. Tell your girl about the people you admired when you were her age and what influenced you, whether it was how the person dressed or styled her hair, ideas or projects that you were passionate about. Ask her what she thinks about a desire to be famous. Then talk to her about what it means to know and be known by God. By keeping the lines of communication open, mom, you can be her influencer too, always pointing her to our ultimate influencer, Jesus. Check out axis.org, that's A-X-I-S dot org for a great blog post relating to how influencers affect Gen Z. I appreciate the work that they do to help parents and anyone who works with teens have a compassionate understanding of them. You can check the show notes for other interesting articles about marketing to Gen Z. Remember, God is for you and you're not alone. With his spirit, you are filled with courage and strength of purpose. So don't fret, Mama. Instead, take heart. Mama Take Heart is a production of Life Audio and the Salem Web Network. If you liked what you just listened to, would you take a second and leave us a rating in your favorite podcast app? It really does help more people like you find our show. This podcast is produced by me, Kelly Givens, and Stephen Sanders, with executive oversight by Stephen McGarvey. You can find more podcasts like this over at lifeaudio.com. Thank you.